Over the years, I've built loads of raised garden beds, and the key word there is built. It's involved lots of sawing and drilling and screwing and digging holes and concreting and all of that full-on DIY stuff. Now, I know not everyone is into getting into things like that, so I thought for a change, I'd show you how easily you can add a really funky raised garden bed at your place, and it literally comes in a box. These kits are available in a range of sizes. Pretty simple stuff. It's a bed in a box. Side and end, top and bottom rails corrugated side panels, corner brackets, drainage or filter fabric, and of course the all important instructions. I'm actually going to put two of these instant garden beds together for you. One of them's just over a metre long by 400 millimetres wide, so it's like a big trough. And the other one is just over a metre square, and both of them are around about 400 millimetres deep, which is perfect root depth for things like veggies. Now I am going to build something in this project, but don't worry, it's not hard, it's just an optional extra. I want to include some climbing veggies in my garden bed, so I do need some support. And the best way to do that is just by adding some simple posts and then using one of these preformed mesh screens attached to the posts as my climbing support. Start by cutting the top of the post to 45 degrees. This allows water to run off, helping to prevent rot in the long term. On each side of the framed mesh, drill a mounting hole at top, middle and bottom. On a level surface, lay down a post in the screen and then slip a spacer underneath to get the screen to the right height. Then screw the screen to the post through the holes you drilled. I positioned the top of my screen in line with the lower edge of the 45 degree cut and about 35 millimeters in from the post face. Repeat for the second post to make the frame. Measure the distance between the posts on the assembled frame. Mark this out where you want your bed to go and dig the post holes. Well thankfully these post holes don't have to be too deep. The frame isn't actually structural so it doesn't need a lot of support and I'm going to wrap it around the corner of the other bed so the whole thing will actually become self-supporting. Once that's done, assemble the bed. No tools required, it's as simple as slotting it all together. Do wear gloves as there are sharp edges on the tin and make sure that the tin sits properly in the groove of the bottom and the top rails. Well that's it, that was pretty simple. The kit comes with geotextile fabric to lay down in the bottom of it. Now this is really intended for use if you're setting the bed up on somewhere like a courtyard or a balcony and it's designed to stop the soil from actually leaking out the bottom. I'm not going to use that as I'm just on the lawn but I will lay down newspaper to make sure the grass can't get through before it dies off. About four or six layers thick and water it well to stop it blowing around before the soil goes on. Drop the assembled frame in place, check it's level and plumb and then position the garden bed against it. I had to use a bit of gravel to level my bed. Now make the second frame. It just has the one post. Position this and screw it in place. Once everything was in place and level, I just backfilled the post holes and tamped the soil down. You could concrete the posts in if you wanted to. Now a timber selection tip for you. As I mentioned before, none of this is actually structural. So when it came to selecting the posts to hold our frames, I just went for fence posts. These three posts cost me less than it would have cost to buy one structural treaded pine post. How's that for value? Because at the end of the day, these are going to last just as long in the landscape as an expensive structural post. Time to assemble the second longer bed. Position that, newspaper in the bottom, and then fill with soil or raised garden bed mix. Press it down gently as you go to get rid of air pockets. A nice layer of loosened mulch before planting out with veggie seedlings and watering well. And that's it. A super simple raised garden bed and a nice comfortable working height.